Alrighty, so the next two cards we have for ourselves are Dark Summoning Beast and uh, Fallen Paradise. Alright, so uh, Dark Summoning Beast, appropriately named for the summoning of the Sacred Beast. Um, you tribute this card and you special summon one of the three Sacred Beasts from your deck. So it's um, <clears throat> uh, Uria, Haman, or Raphael. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, ignoring their summoning conditions, obviously. And uh, if you do that, uh, you cannot attack for the rest of the turn. So you can only use that effect once per turn, and you can banish this card from your graveyard and add uh, one of the sacred beasts from your deck to your hand. So uh, it's pretty lit, actually. It's a uh, level five, though. That's the thing. Um, but it does automatically bring out uh, one of the sacred beasts, and it does search them uh, if need be. Now. Uh, this card by itself is pretty half decent because it's like, okay, well, I got one of the three Sacred Beast, uh, Haman. Um, he when he inflicts uh, damage when you when he destroys a monster by battle. Raviel just brings out tokens, and uh, well, it brings out a token each time your opponent uh, normal summons a monster, and uh, you contribute uh, your monsters to gain. To make him gain attack so uh if you tribute one of your tokens which happened to have a thousand attack and defense he becomes five thousand every time uh your opponent normal summons a monster so um it's it's all right you know it's, it's nothing too op and uh Uria, which is my favorite one um which is the one that looks like slifer it uh it just pops spell and chop cards for free and your opponent can't chain uh the the targeted card uh, in response. So if you target a strike, then the strike gets destroyed and they can't chain it. The thing is, is that he doesn't uh, have any attack unless you use uh, continuous trap cards. So um, you, you have to have continuous trap cards in your graveyard for Uria to have any attack. So yeah, um, the Dark Summoning Beasts by themselves, they're alright, they're not really anything too big. Um, they're they're just, like, honestly, like, every time I look at these, they're just rip-offs of the three Egyptian gods. That's, that's all I see them as uh, from the first series. But um, thanks to the new the new field spell, uh, Fall in Paradise, um, your opponent cannot target uh, the three Sacred Beasts or the Fusion, which is Armital, the Chaos Phantom, um, for uh, with card effects, and also they can't be destroyed by card effects. And if you control them, uh, any one of the three sacred beasts or infusion once per turn you can draw two cards. It's uh, It's pretty nice uh, it, it has like a whole deck um, behind it uh, if you um, you can play uh, the three sacred beasts and uh, the fusion um, With the field spell and dark summoning beasts and like dark gruffer and summoner monk and uh, there's like this whole combo where you go into uh, the fusion, and then the fusion gets uh, his effect is that uh, he can get like ten thousand attack uh, per uh, during your turn, so um, it could be a pretty big busty monster um, for your opponent to hit over. Um, but other than that, I, I think it's all right. It's it's not anything game breaking, but it's nice to see uh, GX decks uh, getting more support.